Hello everybody and welcome to another War Leader PvMP video. Today I've got some really great 1v1s to show you and uh, plenty to talk about. This is going to be the last video before Riders of Rohan launches, so uh, let's make it a good one and get right into it. Okay, first off is Radar Astiel, and I have not 1v1 Radar in quite a while. I ran into him just coming out of Aizen, and he wanted to fight, so I went ahead. Uh, I do not expect to win this fight, because the, the video where I beat him was several updates ago, and back then Runekeepers were quite a, a bit less powerful. In the updates since that time, every single update has increased their power since then, and Audacity's come out and all that stuff. So, honestly, a Runekeeper of Radar's caliber, I expect to be basically unbeatable for me at this particular time, because we just don't have the tools available that we need to properly combat them. They hit too hard, we don't heal enough, they heal more than we can put out in terms of damage. If they know what they're doing, you're not going to have a chance. He did let me get my buffs going, so I'm at least giving it a good shot, even if I don't expect to win, which is always important to give it your best. Even if you don't think that you're going to actually win the thing, at least give it a, an honest shot to uh, at least have some respect for your opponents, and you never know, you might get surprised, but don't just give up on, on the whole thing. It, it is, If nothing else, it is good practice. But, uh, as you can see, he is doing pretty well with his healing and stuff. Uh, I'm actually a little surprised right now that he's taken this much power to get through me. If this were to keep going for a while and I were to stay alive, I could potentially run him out of power. But he's just hitting so hard that that's not going to be a possibility. Although, come Rohan, uh, it might be possible that War Leaders could pull it off. Uh, now I've gone into Commander Stance, this is my only chance is if I can manage to stay alive and get these heals off. But I, as you can see, I got a heal and instantly lost 2,000 there. Another heal for 2,500, lost 2,000 on a crit. It just doesn't work. They crit too hard. They crit harder than your heals go. Uh, next up is Gorath Thor, who uh, I think this is the second time that I've fought him. And uh, this is kind of interesting. He wanted to go at me. And this whole time, as you can see, I'm having some, some lag. Everything is just stuttering. My frame rate is a little bit low. So... And you can see right here, this is what I'm fighting from. But the last time I fought him, I did very well. And even though my internet connection or whatever it is, is doing this to me, I feel confident that I can actually fight him. Now, one thing that I'm doing is, because of the way that everything's going, I'm going to use this tree, and I'm going to work on his bird whenever I get the chance to. I don't think that, you know, this is going to go anywhere particularly, but if I could kill the bird, that's going to be really helpful. And I do think that I might get the opportunity to, so that I'm just going to take the chance to go after the bird. I'm also going to fire, fire shots at him when I can. Uh, he's hitting me with a lot of crowd control right there, which is going to be very handy because I could potentially hit full DR, which will definitely play a factor if I do get there. As you can see, I keep getting stunned and it's cutting off my animations and stuff. Uh, that's something weird that... You know, it, it happens. It's part of the game. I, I think I've talked about it before in a, another video or so. But you do have to be aware of that. Uh, right now, I'm keeping the bird in target and attacking it while keeping the tree between myself and Gore. And uh, actually, I put a, a decent amount of damage on the bird, so I'm going to go after him right now. And Gore does not seem to be using any of the, the lore master heals that he has as, at his disposal to take care of his bird. So it is... There we go. Finished. The bird is dead. That is huge, because that takes away a bunch of damage. More importantly, it takes away a ton of tactical mitigation. Almost uh, 1,500 plus points of tactical mitigation gone. That is worth basically four menacing roars stacked on top of each other. Actually, more like five. That is how big of a debuff that is. And as you can see, uh, I am now hitting him a lot harder than I would have been. So now I'm just going to be chasing Gore around. He doesn't have his bird, he gets no flank heals, he's not going to get interrupts if I were to stand and induct something. Uh, I've hit full diminishing returns because of all the crowd control he threw at me. And uh, I'm also doing a lot more damage to him. So this is exactly where I want to be. And if a Loremaster gives you the opportunity to kill their bird, take it. Even work towards working out the... T taking down the bird while you try to line of sight them and stuff. That is a very viable and effective tactic. Uh, there we go, I'm talking to Umelkor. Um, 
because uh, I don't know. It seems lately that I keep on getting tells all the time and I have to answer them in the middle of 1v1s and then I'm recording them. Uh, this has happened in the last three or four videos now. I, I don't get it. Uh, I hit this shout there. I should have hit Fracture to interrupt him. I did not get that off in time. I do have my big cooldowns off and ready to go, so I should be able to hit one of those. Uh, and as you can see, I am using some better potions right now, uh, because I have been stacking up on uh, better pots and stuff. In anticipation of Isengard. No, of Rohan, not Isengard. So, uh, I'm currently working on that particular stack, and once I get rid of those other two potions in there, I'm going to fill it back up, and then go back to using my regular rank 6 ones. Uh, I do tend to use the rank 6 uh, potions from the vendors in Gramsfoot, mostly because back uh, before they were bought with commendations, I didn't have the uh, the time and stuff, and the, the delving currency to buy the rank potions from the, the delving stone barbers. And then with Audacity, I spend all my commendations on that for the most part, except for when I'm ranking people up and buying them skills. So that is where those currencies typically get spent, and it's only towards the end of Rohan now that I actually have the, uh, the capital to actually invest in those things. But I will have them available for myself in Rohan, so it'll be interesting to see me using them there. Uh, I did hit Get a Grip, and uh, hey, we're doing alright here. I do need to do something about him. As soon as I get a crit, I'm going to hit Quitters. That's going to be a great big boost for my power and my morale pool. Come on, hit Quitters, hit Quitters. Why did I not hit Quitters? Oh, come on. <laughs> what am I thinking? I mean, yeah, he's down to 2,700, but even then... Where is the Quitters? Okay, I should hit Quitters now. I'm not hitting Quitters, and I don't know why. Uh, I guess it's working, I, so I, I will have that cooldown available for something else. But I should have gone ahead and hit Quitters to uh, the, just to go ahead and finish him off. Uh, that immunity to crowd control, the full diminishing returns, has just been fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slow him right here. If that doesn't finish him off, then I'll be able to catch him up and finish him off anyway. Uh, he's still got 300 health, finished him with Black Speech, end. But uh, the, the big thing to take away there is just... You can see how important it is to kill the bird of a lore master and how much better it, everything goes. And here is Webfirth. Uh, we ran into each other. I, I had an opportunity to hit my brand, but I didn't quite take it. So I'm at a slight disadvantage there. Uh, it looks like he's got trail food, possibly cooked food up as well. Uh, it could just be the run speed buff. <laughs> but no major buffs on him. No major ones on me except for uh, apparently a 5% damage from whatever I was doing. So, uh, it, it should be a pretty fair. Uh, unfortunately, I did stay in Brawler Stance a little too long there. I need to be in Commanders. And I have not yet dropped Banner of Terror, and I'm not sure why. I need to get that down right now, because he does have his uh, control burn going right now. And if I don't... There we go. Banner of Terror down to, to cap some of the damage he's going to do on that. But he's already gotten some big hits from that. So I'm going to need to get some heals and some crits to recover from the amount of damage I've taken. I am inducting Quitters right now because I really need that heal. Successfully pulled it off. Didn't get a super big heal out of Quitters. And he's doing a good job of staying on top of me right there. But also, I'm not moving as much as I probably should be to try to keep around him. Uh, there he goes. He, he goes ahead and stuns earlier than the, the last couple fights that we saw him in. And uh, he's actually managed to put down just a ton of damage. That's worked out very well for him. He's got some great crits. Just wonderful advantages for him, and he's really been working well. Going for a double heal did not work, so I am almost dead. I have to go ahead and just use that induction like that, well, with that, that power fear. And uh, 200, 300 health, Warg jumps in, and uh, I'm trying to heal up and stay alive, but uh, there, there is a, a burglar right there, and I eat a couple big crits, and I'm finished off. So... And there's another Berg as well, so the Warg also goes down. Uh, next is another champion, and this is a Gloria champion. Now, the really big thing that got me in that Webforth fight was he got some really big crits, and I didn't get crits on some of my bigger heals or on some of my shouts when I really needed them. So, champion fights, they can be decided by crits in many cases. Just who gets the crits, who doesn't get the crits, that's going to be a major factor. And uh, this particular champion, though, is in Glory. Glory champions do not get crits like that. These are instead endurance fights, 
uh, as you can see, I'm fighting this guy from Brawler's stance with R of Command because he just does not hit as hard. Uh, the other big difference is he is using dual wielding, whereas Webfirth does use a two-hander. So he gets bigger single crits uh, with that two-hander, whereas this guy, he just gets a faster attack speed. So inducting heals against a, a dual wielding champion is always a whole lot tougher to pull off because they do hit you a lot more. This will be a, a big change in Rohan, though, because that's not going to be the case since there is a limited amount of induction setback that's being added to the game. It'll be very interesting to see just how that affects war leaders and uh, playstyle in both raids and soloing and everything. It's going to be fantastic to see how that plays out and what I'm able to do with it. <clears throat> but uh, against this guy, things are going pretty well. Uh, his power pool was pretty low for a while there, but Banner of Terror has worn off, so his power is going back up. Uh, he just now hit Control Burn, that, that icon just popped up. Uh, but I'm doing pretty decently in, as far as working my way through his power pool. I'm also doing a pretty good job of staying behind him. Uh, my movement is uh, solid. It's not the greatest, but I'm doing as best as I can. And the other thing I do need to mention about this is uh, the fight started in the middle, and that is because I was fighting him, and I, I realized I should record this, and I, I figured that I had enough time to go alt-tab out of the game, turn fraps on, get back in, and start recording, and I did that. So he had some free time to hit me, and he actually stayed in front of me that entire time, and my auto attacks kept on pounding into him, whereas he should have moved right behind me, and uh, he should have been standing behind me when the, when the recording started, but he was actually in front of me. I'm doing a good job of using Menacing Roar to keep the, the double debuff on him whenever I can, uh, keep his mitigations lowered so I do more damage with those shouts, but it does sap away at my power pool quite a bit. Uh, the other thing I do need to mention is that all these fights you can see that I've changed my skill setup, where I have moved Call the Shadow out to number 7 on my skill bar and left number 4 open. I've done that because I'm anticipating getting Shield Bash and I want to get ready for my new control scheme once I get Shield Bash slotted in at number 4, because I've picked that as my spot for it on the control bar. Uh, right there, I went ahead and I hit Quitters, not because I needed the big heal, but more because of the power. Uh, as I mentioned against the, the Gorkler fight, that was something that I thought of later as well, not just in recording the uh, commentary for the whole thing, but I realized the power boost would have been a good idea to use, uh, also with the Floof fight. That was on my last video. But I went ahead and do that mostly just for extra power. The, the heal, I, I don't mind getting that heal at all, but the power was the big thing. Alright, we're doing quite well. Uh, he has used quite a few bubbles, but I think one of them will be coming off cooldown fairly shortly here. And my power pool is getting pretty dangerously low. Uh, his has also gotten quite dangerously low, and there goes that bubble as I predicted. Overall, things are going quite well. Uh, if I lay off my melee attacks a little bit more, uh, right now I'm focusing on staying right behind him and letting my auto attacks do some work. Uh, I should be hitting a heal here. I've got the those death wings out there, but I, I don't seem to be. I might just be focusing on the kill. Yeah, that's probably what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Get, hit the fracture. Didn't get a crit, uh, but he's almost finished off. He's going to be dead right here. He's not running or anything. And so Black Speech will finish it. Yep. And uh, now Gould. Uh, as you can see, I was sending Tells again. Uh, I actually saw him running, running by on the horse, and then uh, I was still in the middle of typing, so I overshot him and really messed up the opening. And messing up an opening against a hunter is terrible. As you can see, he has done 10,000 plus damage to me already. I've hit both my big cooldowns. I'm at 4,000 health. And he is just blowing me up. Uh, I've even used one of my better uh, health potions. But it's just not going to do a thing. He is... We're in the open field. I took a ton of damage. I should have not engaged in the way I did, I, where I turned around and came back at him. Instead, that got me killed. Uh, here's Athreros, uh, who is another pretty tough to hunter, and, uh, and as you can see, it's a very similar thing, I'm emoting at him and then he opens fire. Uh, I try to get some crits there, didn't get any crits, so I don't have any instant heals to fire off, 
uh, I put down Banner of Terror right there, and I go ahead and induct a couple heals and just keep this rock between us. I want to get myself ready to make a proper attack. Go ahead, call the Shadow, get the slow on him, and now I'm going to charge right in and just pound on him with the melee. The other nice thing is, I forced him to use up a lot of the focus that he had with running around that rock trying to get line of sight on me. And that means that he didn't get to use off more penetrating shots, more a merciful shot, stuff like that. Instead, that focus was bled off by walking. So that's another great reason to, to try to use terrain. So against Gould, I should have run towards TR Hotspot, kept going that way instead of turning around to engage him and refocused everything. Uh, against Athreros, I took advantage of the terrain here when I realized that the fight hadn't opened very advantageously for me. Managed to recover and then went back on the offensive as soon as I had a good opportunity to. And as you can see, it's worked out a lot better. My, my health pool is very high, his is very low, he's running low on power. Uh, things are just working my way at this particular point in time. Uh, the other thing to notice is that I am rank 10. And uh, the only difference for being rank 10 right now, because I have not spent anything on skills, except that I did buy Purge, is I've got the rank 10 battle food promotion. Other than that, everything about my war leader is exactly the same, because this is uh, two days before Rohan launches this particular fight, and I, I'm just not going to spend the commendations on skills when I can get them for one-fourth of the cost in Rohan. And Athreros goes down to rank 10 Ugmog. And uh, that that one war leader who uh, I was sending tells to a couple of different times, Umelkor, uh, when I did hit rank 10, I actually did it simultaneously with him. He ranked up to uh, rank 7, and we were fighting a couple freeps, uh, had a couple other people with us. And we killed the champion, and he ranked up, and then the guardian dropped right after that, and I hit rank 10. So we did that together, and that was a, a lot of fun. I had fraps running on that particular night, did not record a single thing, so I did not record actually hitting rank 10, and uh, I was kicking myself about five minutes after that when I realized I had not recorded anything, even though I had fraps running. But that is where that is. So coming into Riders of Rohan, uh, I've got a slightly new skill set up, I've got a huge stockpile of potions and stuff. Uh, I'm rank 10, I'm going to have all kinds of new skills, and there's new goodies coming for the war leader, lots of new mechanics changes. There's going to be a lot to discuss, look over, and discover. And uh, also there's a special project that I'm going to be doing with one of the writers of Casual Stroll to Mordor. And uh, basically the long and short of it is that I've had to make a second account so I can play on Landerval with a fresh war leader. So this fresh war leader is mostly going to be showing up in that whole project, but I can pretty much guarantee that there will be points where I'm going to take that war leader out for a spin around the Etmores with the idea of coaxing unaware Freepsies into a fight against a low ranked war leader, not knowing that there's actually someone behind the keyboard who has pretty much uh, worked as hard as they can to master a war leader and has already driven one to rank 10, who is waiting there hoping to shed their blood with his rank 4 or 5 or whatever that war leader is at that point. So those are going to be some very interesting fights for sure. Uh, most likely I'm going to get slaughtered, get really ticked off, bring out the rank 10, and start smashing people's faces in with shield bash. Anyway, that's all for this time. Good luck and have fun out there. Rohan is coming soon and I will see you guys there and the videos will come in <laughs> in Rohan. But in the meantime, Ugmong is out.